Adam Green steps back into the director's chair. Digging Up the Marrow. So Digging Up the Marrow is the latest written and directed film by Adam Green and stars Adam Green playing himself and Ray Wise. Now this film I was extremely excited for. I am an Adam Green fanboy. I love the Hatchet movies. I love Spiral. I love Frozen. I love the Holliston TV show. So I was really excited for this movie. Um, he hasn't been in the director's chair for a little bit since Hatchet 2. He stepped aside for Hatchet 3, but he's back. We got another original tale. And I really like Ray Wise as an actor, too. So I was pumped for this movie. The film's essentially based on the art of Alex Pardee, um, who has really good art. You should definitely go check his art out. I do have a piece from him. He did a piece for Hatchet, too, that I absolutely love. Um, gorgeous piece. So he does all these, like, monster, you know, original, like, monster, really out there kind of designs. And him and Adam Green partnered up to bring this movie to kind of breathe some life into the art he has and put it on the screen. So the film centers around Ray Weiss, who is named William Decker in the film. He's, you know, this older guy, he's a retired detective, and he has discovered monsters, essentially. And they're out in the middle of this woods, there's this hole, which is the marrow, and he goes out there all the time to watch for these monsters to basically come out, walk around a little bit, and go back down. So that's pretty much how he's been spending the last couple of years, you know, waiting for these monsters. So he's been trying to get someone to tell his story, and he reaches out to Adam Green. So Adam Green plays himself. His entire production company, Airy Scope, all play themselves. And, you know, it, it kind of brought that realism to it. You know, you know, it's shot documentary style. You know, it's Adam Green and everything. But I kind of like the way that they presented it like that. So Adam Green goes out with his cameraman to basically see if this guy, you know, is all that he's shaped up to be. And so they go out in the night and, you know, of course, nothing happens. So it gets you skeptical. And I thought at first, you know, was it going to be these monsters aren't real? This guy's crazy and everybody else starts to lose it. Or are these monsters real? So it plays that off for a little bit, which I really liked. Um, but the one thing that kind of bothered me about this movie just a little bit is it never really it never got under its feet for me. You know, like I was really waiting to see, are you trying to be a horror movie or are you trying to be a horror comedy type movie? Because there's a lot of parts in the film where you could tell they were going for that creep me atmosphere and tone to give you like that straight horror feel. And then it would get broken up with, you know, kind of kind of some cheap comedy moments that I felt were a little bit out of place for, you know, the context of that scene. You know, they're trying to be eerie and it's like, oh, let's make a quick quirky one liner that didn't feel very natural for, you know, being a documentary style film. So that was the only thing that really distracted me in the movie. I thought that they did a really good job, you know, presenting the story, um, you know, escalating things little by little as the movie carried on. Ray Weiss's performance, I thought, was very, very well done. Um, you know, he's a genre actor that's been around the block, you know, in plenty of horror films and low-budget movies. Um, the one, you know, if you don't know who Ray Weiss is, the one that you might really recognize him from was Jeepers Creepers 2. He was like the creeper slayer in that movie. Uh, that was one of the more, you know, big-budgeted theater type movies he was in. But overall, guys, I did wind up enjoying Digging Up the Marrow. Um, you know, the shift in tone with the horror and the comedy uh, was a little bit distracting for me, so it was kind of hard to get into some parts of the film. And the ending kind of unhinged itself a little bit. I did not really care for the last couple minutes and how everything played out. But, um, you know, I like Adam Green. I'm a huge fan of his. I think if you like Adam Green, there's going to be a lot to enjoy in this movie. Um, just don't expect going into it being the scariest film of the past two decades, like the box claims. And I know that's always a bunch of crap when they put that stuff on there. But, you know, I didn't find anything in this movie to be so much on a horror base as much as it was just a very intriguing idea. Um, so I wound up enjoying it. I think you should check it out if you're a fan of Adam Green. Um, and if you want to check out some of his other stuff, you should definitely go back and check out Spiral, the Hatchet series, and Frozen, because those are all fantastic films in my opinion. So thank you guys very much for watching. If you're new to my channel, make sure that you subscribe, and I will catch you all next time.